I'm Mr Kerr and I'm the transition lead here at Horbury Academy. Part of my role is to support Year 6 pupils with their transition to secondary school. There is no question that primary and secondary schools can be very different places, but some very important factors remain the same. These being a child's happiness, safety and the need to provide the very best education. Now, without further ado, let our virtual tour begin. When you're looking around the rooms in this video, keep one eye open for our VIP around these parts, our very own Horbury Bear, who has a habit of following me around the academy. The first thing to show you is the outside of our academy. You can see our main car park and the front of our academy buildings. I know that some of you will be worried about the size of the school compared to your current primary school. Yes, Horbury is a little bigger, but don't worry. This video will help you see some of the key places and when you arrive in Horbury in September, you will do an actual tour of the school to help you find your way around. So don't worry at all. When you come to school on the first day, then you will come onto our main site. Many of you will walk. Some might be dropped off by parents or carers in our car park. And lots of you will get the school buses and be dropped off in our bus bay. There is also a bike shed where you can securely leave bikes if you would like to cycle to school. Whatever way you come into our school, don't worry as there will be members of our senior leadership team to greet you and show you where to go. The next part of our virtual tour is the student entrance and our main entrance. Every time you come to school, you will enter through our student entrance. There is also another entrance at Horbury for staff and visitors. On your first day, staff will be there to show you where the student entrance is so you don't need to worry. Once you come into our academy through the student entrance, then you will see our student support area. This is an area you can come to if you're feeling poorly, have forgotten equipment and like to buy some, or if you just need to speak to a member of staff about anything. This area is really useful helping you sort out any problems you might have. At Horbury we have a main hall. This is where we hold assemblies each week where we can celebrate all your successes. Our main hall is also used for our drama and music productions that I hope you'll become involved in when you come up to Horbury Academy. At Horbury we have two places where you can buy your food from before school, during break and also at lunchtime. These are our restaurant and also our ancient cafe. All our food at Horbury is made on the premises and we have a variety of food that you can buy. For example, bacon sandwiches, toast and muffins before school and at break. And then at lunch we have sandwiches, soup, pasta pots, salad, jacket potatoes and a hot meal of the day. My favourite is definitely fish and chip Friday. The next part of our virtual tour is our atrium. Our atrium area is in the middle of our academy and it's where you'll spend your break and lunch. In the last part of the virtual tour, I showed you our restaurant and cafe areas where you can eat your food. A third area where you can eat your food is on the seats in our atrium area. You don't need to buy food if you don't want to and you can bring in your own lunch and eat it in our atrium on the seats. The atrium is also where our toilet blocks are located. I know some of you are a little bit worried about getting lost when you first come up to Horbury. But you don't need to worry because there will always be members of staff in our atrium in between lessons and at the end of break and lunch to help you find your way to where you need to go. We also have our quad area just outside of our atrium which is an outdoor space where you can also go at break and lunch. Our Learning Resource Centre or LRC is where we have our library and our homework club. You can go into our LRC before school, at break, lunch times and also after school. It's a brilliant place where you can read, do homework, play games, ask for help from members of staff. There's always things going on in the LRC. At Horbury we have lots of sports facilities for you that you will use in your PE lessons and also in after school clubs. We have a gym, a sports hall, and also we have outdoor spaces, for example, our artificial pitch. At Horbury we run lots of extra school sports clubs like football, netball, rugby and archery. And we hope you'll get involved in as many of these as you can when you come up in September. The SEN Hub is a calm, quiet and safe area you can access if you need to throughout the academy day. Within the SEN Hub we offer a quieter area before school starts, at break and at lunch times too where there are fewer students and always games to play. 
We also have a calm sentry area if you need time out due to feeling anxious, angry or worried. There is always friendly and supportive staff available to talk to and listen to any concerns you have. The SEN Hub is also where we carry out additional support on a one-to-one -one basis or small group work. The Inclusion Hub is a safe place that you can visit whenever you need someone to talk to. The Hub is open every morning, most breaks and every lunch and there is always a friendly member of staff to sit and listen and to help you with whatever might be worrying you. In the Inclusion Hub we also offer one-to-one -one sessions and group work for students who might need some extra support. Our Inclusion staff are looking forward to meeting you. And lastly on our tour are the classrooms where you will have your lessons. At Horbury we have different parts of the school for different lessons and in Year 7 you will have a variety of different lessons including English, Maths, Science, History, Geography, a Modern Foreign Language, Design Technology, Art, Music, Drama, IT, RE and PE. Don't worry about getting lost. You will soon get used to where everything is and there will always be teachers around to help you find your way if you're not sure. As you can see here, we have got two classrooms here to look at. One is an art classroom and one is a science classroom. So Year 6, parents and carers, that was a virtual tour of Holby Academy for you.